Yeah, it has been very beneficial and uh, amazing when we do practice that how, you know, when we kind of, you know, practicing through thoughts and try to stay in this stage, then how much, I call it undercurrent thoughts, you know, so many, I don't know from where they come, is it the past experience, what we're seeing or sanskars, how many of you notice? Lord of, Lord of, and uh, it's so interesting then, like I found certain type of thoughts were very consistent, and I realized that maybe I have to change my perspective about, uh, you know, the way mind is working somewhere, it's subconscious, or whatever way, and uh, so I really found out why these kinds of thoughts are emerging. They're not like negative, but they are still somewhere deeply within some, some kind of, you know, future, fear, whatever. Yeah, you relate to it or only I get it. <laughs> so I, I thought, okay, let me change. And then I remembered Dadi Prakashmani's words. Because these days, like what Baba, Brahma Baba taught me and Dadi Prakashmani, one day Dadi Janki was talking to Dadi Prakashmani about certain things and Dadi Ji said, 98% everything is okay, 2% is not okay. And you all think of that 2%. And you forget, and Dali Janki shared with us, she said, my whole, everything has changed inside. So now when I come out, I see people doing things, Sevadhari doing this, place is clean and everything is running. She said, I was so changed the way I think. No, sometimes it does happen that few situations arise or few Things happen and our mind is so much with that. We feel like that's the whole life. That's really everything. And we forget that there are a lot of, lot of good things, better things. So I'm just giving example that if we don't practice, you know, that means now that transformation, the realization which happens, right? That's the achievement, right? It's a big achievement because now, all those kinds of thoughts will be into elevated thoughts and beautiful thoughts. So, Siddhi really here is that what I wouldn't have seen, you know, what I wouldn't have realized, I realized and then I said, okay, now I will think about a new picture, new things, completely in a different way. So that's a kind of accomplishment, the beginning. And then when you change it, you get it, right? You, you know, really it becomes a gift for you to function, to be, you know, allow yourself to be the part of whatever has to be done. So there are many, many things. I, every night when I look at the chart, I find it's very, very beneficial, this homework or what you call it, practice or, whatever it is. And when we do it, then naturally, you know, we can help in whatever way. Others can also have that realization. But uh, you start, like, what is benevolence? What is, uh, you know, there's a beautiful word, benevolence is English, very good. But it's Kalyan. Kalyan is only gurus can say it, even father cannot say. Teacher cannot say, guru will say, Kalyan ho means, Kalyan ho in the sense of everything for you will be now. Well, I will again say beneficial, because in Hindi is different. So, one day is never enough for any practice, but at least you start seeing 
the you know how why it is important and uh, but also very very good and uh, soul consciousness is important for everything so i don't know we will be able to play today or not but the very beautiful song i think we played yesterday but it is hindi plus they have english word a very simple way of so soul consciousness of my eternal self and uh, original self a very simple way it's in a song but it's beautiful now practice we will continue next day is image of purity I mean we all have as a brahmin a pure life right but subtly whatever is there in the attitude whether it is my towards my own self there could be a particular attitude or even for others when we say that very very clean very pure attitude and also drishti because if attitude is clean then our drishti and drishti will bring souls closer to baba they will have feelings more and more that they are very close to baba so purity as i said in a way we are pure right means in the sense of purity as principles but very subtly whatever a law is there impressions this person is like this this person all these thoughts even before we interact with someone I, this whole thing comes oh this one will be like that anyway she will reply like this so we not changing not allowing other one to change so purity is all removed from the past alloy is from the past and we all have to become pure gold pure gold and also again i like can just my original self eternal self what i am eternally is pure loveful peaceful powerful blissful light and might that's what eternal self is keep emerging that you know when you emerge it as often you can you see the difference in your thinking general ordinary thinking then you think from that state they are very very powerful thoughts so think about purity at the very subtle level deeper level you know there was a very interesting thing is that this words which we speak the element of the mouth is ether right sky so that is why they have radio station they call it what akashvani akashvani that means is coming from does doesn't come from sky but the element uh, of sky so they say how every word you speak it reaches sky and sky returns you the way you speak <laughs> it's because they say every element in the body the way you use it right so the reaction or response from that element i never connected you know words with the sky element but they say because the sound really is coming because this this hollowness or whatever huh right yeah so we will be practicing that and have many many experiences and realizations what i find that baba is making easier and easier for us is higher and higher but easier and easier because he knows it's very high destination but then again to go back reclaim what i was shouldn't be very difficult right 
So today Baba said, if you want to become angel, use two words. You remember? Hmm? Which two words can just make you angel? Why are we making so much effort? Huh? Man mana boy told always, right? Anything today, Murli. This morning, Murli. Huh? Today was awake, Murli, right? Huh? No, but yesterday, you have heard that, Murli, that yesterday or this morning. Huh? No, but some English fellas heard this morning, Hindi fellas yesterday, but today is Saturday. You haven't heard morely. I thought today is Sunday. Okay, th those who have Hindi fellas heard, right? Hmm? Okay, I tell you. <laughs> I really... I really took it because I want to do that so that Baba said, Hanji and thank you. Hanji and thank you. So we have some, they always say, ha, Hanji, but they don't say thank you. And I realize that is true because I say, Lord, thank you. And you know, even somebody gives me a cup of thank you from my heart. Good, you know. Hanji and thank you will make you angels. So I said, that's good. So why not we do that, right? Making a lot of efforts and going to subtle regions and all that. Hanji, thank you. It's not just say Hanji, but you mean Hanji, right? In the sense of yes, I accept and then thank you. Yeah, so, okay. So that's what uh, Baba making it. I thought it was very good that Mul Murli is making things easier. Even as I said, you still feel it's very high destination. But he says, no, it's easy. You can do it. Okay. Om Shanti.